morning, man. Another good morning, man. Let me open up some goodness up in here. That's how the shutters open up. Yeah, good morning. Sunday. Hey man, Felton, what up with it? What we got? Darwin, Kenfo, what happened to you yesterday? Raphael, Terry, Felton. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up, Mr. Sanger? I don't know what's going on with you. You watch me, but every time I call you, you don't have to call me. So. Um, Raphael, I'm in Galveston, Texas, man. What up, sis, Mona? Morning to you. I slept in my own bed last night. Congrats on the trophy. I mean, that wasn't that, man. That was the furthest travel. I appreciate it. Didn't need that. I appreciate it. Uh, have a good day to do. Here y'all go. I'm again. There you have it. has to be what the, um, what life is all about, man. Waking up to shit like this. So you got everybody in the complexes. A lot of people even they win with tomorrow. So I guess this morning we're just going to sit up and watch some, um, just chill out today, rest, relax, watch some Sunday night football, get some things packed up. Good morning, Miss Anita. Arnita, sucking the damn traffic when I got out of it. I hit 45 south. I got you. King Nook, what it do? I got you, been on it. Hey, man, one of the things, um, and, and this might be kind of crazy, but a lot of people think I'd be, uh, you know, they don't, they don't understand how I wish that all of us could experience all of this. If I had the money, man, I promise you, if I was a multi-millionaire and I could just come out here either buy the beach houses or rent them or do whatever I would, I would and just invite everybody. That's the kind of shit I would do. I would truly come out here, man, and just invite everybody to come. I would have, man, this, I got nine houses, man. Just come and grab your bed somewhere. Because this is right here, man. This right here is, is, is it's just, you got to have this, man. You got to have this. For everything you've been going through all year long, for everything that's been going rough in your family, your personal life, the shit that we don't know about, the shit that you don't put on Facebook. You know, we put a lot of shit on Facebook. We truly do. But for all the shit that we don't put on Facebook, for all the stuff, man, that that we we don't talk about that we keep inside sometimes and we bottle it up man all of that shit it'll, it'll drive you crazy man it'll hurt you this right here waking up to shit like this what's up sandra he truly is this right here man waking up to stuff like this you see look white folks they're gonna have a good time they're gonna get out there and run run out to the ocean and all that you know i ain't saying that white folks ain't got problem but they sure make them look like, <laughs> like it, it's all right, man. But anyway, this is the stuff you need. We need to start. We need to start um, just really praying for each other, wishing each other better, man. I think a lot of times we don't wish each other better enough. We don't, you know, we don't want to see people happy man and that's crazy because i want to see all y'all happy if i could buy everybody happiness what up paul 
If I could buy each and every one of y'all some happiness, man, I would. I promise you I would. Like I said, if I, if I had the money, man, to rent all of these houses, just rent them. Every once a year for everybody, all of my friends, just, I would rent them all, man, and say, just come on, man, you gotta just drag, get a bed, get somewhere to stay, and we would have a good time. Like I said, for me, for me, yonder is about the peace of mind, it's about the ride, it's about the experience, it's about the, the people that you meet, the things that you see, that you never would have thought you could see, you never would have thought, you know, I never would have thought a nigga, a, a boy like me from Compton, what up, cuzzo? Um, oh, I didn't even get it, man. I got to check it out, cousin. I never would have. Hey, sis, Dolly. I never would have thought a cat like me from Compton, California would be everywhere that I've been, man. Would travel and see some of the shit that I've seen, man. The Niagara Falls. Um, the, the Mount Rushmore. Um, I've seen so much stuff. All the way up to Maine. All the way to New York. I've been to Times Square on my motorcycle. You know what I'm saying? I've been to the 911 memorial on my motorcycle. I mean, just just so much stuff. Now, I've been out here, man, and my boy Thor said this is not the ocean. So I don't know what that, I forgot what he said he called it, but I don't give a damn what you say. I can't drink. That's more water than I can drink. And that's bigger than any lake that I can go fishing in. So that's the ocean to me. <laughs> hey, man. What up, Kay? That's what I'm saying, man. But anyway, we have to start wishing better, man. We want people to be happy. And we got to start letting go of a lot of shit, man. We got too much baggage shit that we hold on to that keeps us from being happy for no reason. Man, we holding on to shit, man. A nigga done did this to you or your sister or your brother or maybe your mom or your dad wasn't there for you. And we holding on to that, man. Let that shit go, man. I'm telling y'all some real shit. Okay, the golf. As a, my, my cousin just told me, my cousin Corey, man, I love you. I love you, cousin. It's the golf. It ain't the ocean, it's the golf. Anyway, but we gotta start letting shit go, man. For real. We gotta we gotta start getting back to being happy, man. We gotta quit living above our means, man. We gotta stop trying to keep up with everybody. Stop stop spending our money, man, on all this un on this unnecessary as expensive shit you know um and, and like i said i i'm kind of guilty of it but i think i've made so many sacrifices for not having shit i mean i don't wear the jordans and shit like that i just think that that's crazy um but that's me if you got the money man and you truly got the money you're supposed to live life you're supposed to enjoy yourself truly you are man I mean, I, I'm not telling nobody that can afford to do whatever they do to do it. I'm talking to all the niggas that can't afford to do what they're doing. And y'all know who y'all is, I'm telling you. Y'all know who y'all We know damn well we got a lot of people that can't afford to do what they do. They my, they call them the Joneses, trying to keep up with the Joneses. Say, man, fuck the Joneses. If you a Jones, then you a Jones. But if you ain't a Jones... Quit trying to act like a Jones. You feel what I'm saying? You better start being yourself. But we really do, man. You guys are watching the state that we're in, the election. We got to choose between a Donald Trump and a and a Hillary Clinton, man. We got to choose between those two candidates out of all the motherfuckers in the world. Out of all the people that are politicians, out of all the people that, that they're in the Senate and all this other shit, uh, you know, that's on uh, all that shit. You mean to tell me these were the best two people that you could find? These were the only two? These are the best two qualified candidates that we have in the world to be president? And they both got flaws on top of flaws? Then again, we know ain't nobody perfect, but God, we talking about the representative of the United States of America. So we talking about the nigga that represents all this ocean out here. We talking about that nigga. He gonna represent all that ocean. He gonna represent all the peninsula. I'm sorry. He gonna represent all this peninsula. You feel what I'm saying? And the best two people that we can find, we can't find nobody with a squeaky with, with without a background. Nobody. Man, that is crazy, y'all. Boy, y'all better start waking up, man. Yeah, I should have ran for president. 
I ain't got nothing but a couple of felonies, about 15 of them. Yeah, but that's it. I ain't lied to the motherfucker. I ain't hear no emails. And I ain't thinking that every woman in the world gonna just let me grab their pussy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to, I'm telling you, man, I should have ran for president. I'm, I'm, I'm mad at myself now for not thinking that I'm qualified, that I was qualified enough. Yeah, that part. What up, Fred? What up, LaVita, my sister, man? I love you guys. Man, listen, man. That girl, LaVita, that lady, that woman, LaVita, that, that motorcycle riding girl named LaVita, I love her, man. She has taken care of her, and the queens have taken care of her. her and um, um, Pink Sugar, man, they have taken care of us for real, man. And um, it's just been a beautiful week. Like I said, today is football Sunday. We're going to sit here and chill, clean up the house a little bit, get it back in order so we can get our little deposit back. But it was well worth every money, that, every dollar that was spent on this thing, man. It was well worth for all of the people that came through and hung out and had grabbed something to eat or just came over here just to charge their phone up or whatever it was, man. I love you. I appreciate you. I, I mean, I do it over and over again. I'm telling you, and if I had the money, like your boy said, if I ruled the world, this is the shit that we would have. This is the shit that the motorcycle community would be about. This shit right here. At the end of the year, we're going to fellowship for all of those that have survived. But every time you almost went down on your motorcycle. Um, thank you, Destiny. You'll vote for me. Sandy, you'll vote for me. Cedric, what it do, man? Um, right here, this is what it's worth. For every time you got on your motorcycle this year, and a car almost cut you off for it. Hell, we, we, from ducking deers and shit in the road to people texting and driving, you feel what I'm saying, to your motorcycle maybe having a blowout or some weird shit happening or, you know, whatever it is, man. All the shit that we go through, man, on our motorcycles, you feel what I'm saying? This is the shit I would reward you with. I would. If I had the money, I promise you. If I was a multi-millionaire... I will reward every one of y'all with this. I don't give a fuck what club you in. Um, none of that. This will be your reward at the end of the day. What up, sis Ava? Um, to your point, cuz we need to be owning these properties and renting them all, all, already. Already. I mean, all that that's without a doubt, cuz I mean, that's truly without a doubt. But that's what I'm saying. We got to get back to... Everybody has to get back to just living, man. Uh, understand what living is. Living, living is not going to work every day, man. Waiting on your paycheck, man. It, it just ain't. I'm, I'm 40. What am I? 47. I'll be 48 in March. And um, like I said, FHO is my dream, my passion. That's what I'm following. Um, I'm going all in. And, and I believe that this is where God wants me to be. This is the blessing that he put in front of me. I'm going to use it as my ministry. I'm going to use it as my, hey, Stormy, what's going on with you? Um, I'm going to use it as my ministry. I'm going to use it as as a way to, you know, to to bring us together, man, or die trying. That's my mission, man, is to get this motorcycle community together, to get this brotherhood and sisterhood back together or die trying. I promise you. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm, I'm living right now. I'm living for the brotherhood. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. I'm living for the brotherhood. So, again, man, it's, it's a beautiful morning. Whatever you got going on in your life, you know, if your boyfriend acting up, your husband acting up, your wife acting up, your girlfriend, your kids acting up, the job ain't enough for you, the car you want, you can't have, the car you're driving right now giving you problems, um, from, you know, the bills is getting a little bit out of hand, you know, from, you know, not being, having enough to eat, you know, you, at the end of the year, you get your money, you get your work and everything, then you only got a few dollars for groceries, so you got to try to stretch things out, and, and you're seeing people out here on Facebook, every time you turn on Facebook, sell out here smiling, sell somewhere, he went here, sell went there, he, or whoever, whoever it is that you follow or don't follow. Good morning, Miss Tamika. Um, my wife. Good morning, Miss Lady. I love you. I miss you. Um, uh, 
getting ready to pack up, but I won't be leaving here till tomorrow. So it is what it is. But I want everybody, whatever you got going on, whatever you're sick and you ain't told nobody you sick or you, you know, you having headaches, you, you know, this is aching, you got older, you know, shit going on in your life. I, this is what I want you to do, man. I want you to take it all in, man. Give it, take it all right now, and just watch this right here, man. There you go, right there. Let me, matter of fact, let me blow that up so you can, you ain't got to push nothing. That's where you are right there. I want you to take all your stuff and go down there and sit right there, man. You feel me? Just sit right there and watch God do his thing, man. Back there somewhere is the sun, I promise you. It normally raises up out of the ocean. Shortly, it'll be raising up out of the ocean, and it's gonna raise right on up. You can still see it. it's back there somewhere, trying to shine in front of all them clouds. But it's a beautiful day today, man. Chiquita, what it do, man? Chris, what it do, my man? Chris Amos, all the way over there in Iraq, man. Felix, what it do? But I truly, again, man, I just want to tell y'all, we have to start doing better, man. We got to start being happy. We gotta start loving each other, man. We have to start thinking about the future, what it's gonna be like in four or five years. They're showing us every day that the world, that the mother, that the world is just falling apart. From our leaders to our to our policing staff to, to the government. Like I said, if you're telling me that Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are the only two people in America qualified to be the, the president of the United States, to represent the United States, to lead and guide the, this nation. If you're telling me that those are the only two people in the world that are qualified, you got your rabbit ass mind, man. You got your rabbit ass mind. And I know people always talk about that vote. We had a conversation, man. Oh, it did. It has. I've had a ball, Amos. I've had a ball. It ain't been about no parties. It's been about this right here, man. This is that's all. Um, and I know everybody talking about go out and vote. Go out and vote, man. I'm just telling you, with some of the shit I'm seeing, I really don't think your vote gonna matter. And I mean, oh, don't be mad at me. I'm not. I mean, you have the right to ex. You ex We have. We have people that have fought and died for us to vote, and I think we owe them that. I think we really do owe them that vote. Not be, you know, not because, you know, it's some other shit, but people have fought and died just for you to be able to go vote, man. And I think you owe them that. I think you owe their fight, their struggle, their life. I think their life, the life, the life that they lost was worth you getting off your ass to go vote. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. I really don't. I, I think this shit is rigged. I think all of this shit about politics is, um, there's a bunch of bullshit. I think they already know what they're going to do. I'm telling y'all, y'all trying to say that Donald Trump is out the race. You're going to fuck around and see Donald Trump in the in the race. You're going to see Donald Trump in the White House. I'm telling y'all, that's how this shit go. They throw you off with the 42 fake. They give you the bad guy. Oh, man, ain't nobody fucking with Donald. And they give you the bad guy, they give you one good guy. And the good guy you think that's going to win, end up getting slaughtered. And the, there it is. The bad guy is, is the person. Because they already know. Trust me, they already know. Um, you say, Felix, you realized that a long time ago, huh? Hey, man. So, it is what it is, man. But everything you're going through, man, take it and put it right here today, this morning. Whatever you're going through, man, I know a lot of y'all smiling on your Facebook page, but you're crying when the computer is off. You feel me? When that Facebook Live turn on, you smiling, you happy, you jumping around. And as soon as it turn off, you sit your ass in your corner and start crying. So here, man, take this. This for you. Trust me. This beautiful morning, this creation, this is for you. I ain't going to even say who created it. Your God, my God, or whatever, man. You feel what I'm saying? And this is for you. Voting is more than the presidency, period. With what you, with what you my brother Charlie, me, and many of my loved ones, have gone through. I can never vote for Hillary, period, point blank. Trust me. She done locked, or her and her husband and her family done locked a whole lot of people up. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, again, that's those are two choices. That's fucking crazy. Out of, out of the million, billion Americans in the world, in the United States, out of all the senators and, and 
governors and all of the politicians in the world, man. You mean to tell me these are the only two qualified people, man? That is fucking crazy. I'm telling y'all, y'all better wake up. Like I said, you owe the lives that were lost before you to, you know, you owe them to vote. All of the people that fought and died for you to vote, you owe them that to go vote. However, I do feel like uh, that all of this shit is rigged and your vote really ain't gonna matter. You know, so they try to throw you off with the, um, they try to throw you off with the, uh, you know, with the, oh, it don't matter, don't go vote. It don't matter, it don't matter, don't go vote. No, I'm going to vote because, you know, she didn't have to die for me. They, he didn't have to die for me. He didn't have to be brave enough to stand up, man, and to get hit on and spit on and whooped on. Man, you watch some of the stuff of, you know, you watch some of the videos, man, of what some of the people had to go through. That shit was fucking crazy. And then you hear these conversations, man. I mean, I wish I couldn't have been a slave back then. I couldn't have, nigga, I couldn't have lived in the 1950s and 60s. Nigga, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been having that shit. No, you probably wouldn't. You've been about dead as, as dead as all the other motherfuckers who said that. Don't think, this is what I was telling the, 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 the guy with the conversation. Nigga, don't think you're the first nigga to say, I wouldn't having that. It was some niggas back then that said they wouldn't having it. And they died because they wasn't having it. You feel what I'm saying? What up, Derek? You feel what I'm saying? It was some people back then saying that same shit, man, I couldn't have been a slave. And they refused to be a slave, and they died because of that. So you ain't the only nigga that would not be having it. It's a whole lot of us that say we would not be having it. But it's it's one thing to say it and talk it. That's the easiest shit in the world, man. What I learned, man, the easiest shit in the world is to say what you're going to do. That shit is easy. Oh, nigga, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be great one day. I'm going to be awesome one day. Nigga, quit talking and show me, nigga. Run your motor, not your mouth. Period. That's my slam. Run your motor, not your mouth, man. Like I tell, I tell you all the time. I tell my friends, man. I don't care about the success. That's not what. That's not what makes me proud. I care about the fact that you had the balls, that you had the audacity, that you had the strong enough mind to even try to be different, to try to do something for yourself, to try to start your business. That's the hardest thing in the world. You can sit up all day and write a business plan and. Write out loan app, you know, do all of this shit. You can put all that shit together, but actually doing the shit, starting and having the, having the courage to say, okay, listen, I'm gonna step out here on faith, man, and I'm gonna start this business, and I'm gonna I'm gonna ask that this business take care of me and my whole family. Why do you think people got jobs? A lot of us got jobs because um, it's just easier. You don't have to worry about, you know. You know, you, you have at least some type of plan on how to feed your family or where you you know, how you're gonna survive. But to, to own your own shit, to be your own and to you know that shit that 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 is that's courage. I think the only thing stronger than that is committing suicide, because you got to be a strong motherfucker to commit suicide. You better think about it. You call a nigga weak that commits suicide, yeah. You got to be a strong motherfucker to kill yourself. I don't know, like I said, you was going through some shit that made you do it, but up until you did it, you was the strongest nigga that I knew. I, Cause I can't, I'm not gonna do nothing to myself. I can't harm myself in no kind of way. I can't. I, I can't do it. I cannot put myself in harm's way for nothing. Not voluntarily. You feel what I'm saying? Now, if I'm put into a situation, if I gotta defend my MC or defend my motorcycle club, and this is just what it is, it's gonna be some. You know, some tussling and some some knives and guns involved, and I mean, I'm all in for that. That's what I sign for. That's what I'm in the Kings of the South for. You feel what I'm saying? So, but that's not voluntarily, you know, trying to kill myself, man. Ciroc, what to do, man? Tony, what to do? So, anyway, man. All of y'all smiling on Facebook, smiling, you know, when the when the camera is on and crying go off. As soon as you go off, you start crying and, you know, start wondering about how this going to happen, how that's going to happen. You feel what I'm saying? Um, man, let it go. Let it go, man. Let it go. Hey, man. Hey, cuz, I can't worry about Cousin Dre, man. My cousin Corey is talking about Dr. Dre. 
that is actually my family, man. And a lot of people always say, well, damn, sell if Dr. Dre is your family, which I don't, I don't tell anybody, really. I really don't tell people, but my cousin just spoke on it. Then why don't he help you out? Why don't he put FHO on that? Say, man, he had to get his like he got it. I got to get mine like I got it. I, ain't nobody, don't nobody owe me shit. It would be nice, but don't nobody owe me shit. I got to get it. I got to give it to me. You feel what I'm saying? I know what's coming. God from here would come. So, for me, man, so what I'm saying, man, is say, oh, man, get back to me, man. not just for you, but for everybody. For, I mean, we just need to start being happy, start wanting people to be happy, start wanting your life to be happy. You feel what I'm saying? Period. Start being happy, man. Stop being, you know, spiteful or, or you wonder, you, you wonder, you ask so many questions. That you you start asking the wrong questions. You start sounding. You go from a, a a person that really want to know to a hater. You know you start saying, "Well, damn man, that nigga sell his ride his motorcycle." But damn man, how to sell do? You know you go from damn sell riding his motorcycle to damn how to sell just riding his motorcycle everywhere. Man, what kind of work sell do? Man, what the sell who? Bye 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 man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you go from asking a uh, you go from asking a honest question to becoming an honest hater, man. We gotta stop doing that. Stop being worried about everybody else and then start being worried about self, man. But we gotta start being happy for everybody else. Dude, I'm out here, man. Anyway, <sighs> William Handing, thank you, sir. Fred, thank you, sir. Lewis, thank you, sir. Down there. I think they got them. I think them the ones with them dogs. Man, they got some beautiful dogs. Dogs run in and all out the water and everything, man. So, but anyway, that's enough for me, man. I just wanted to give y'all that this morning, man. So whatever you're going through, Nicholas, what up with it? Sirac, what up with it? One more time, man. Take this, man, this morning and embrace it. Take it and wrap all your troubles up in it. Take it and wrap all your cares up in it. Taking and wrap all the bills that you don't know how you're going to pay. Taking and wrap it up in that, man. Up in the goodness of God, man. Look at that. That's, just, that's the one of the dogs right there. No, I'm in uh, Galveston, Texas, Lewis. Uh, Fred, what it do, man? Cindy, what it do? Take all of your troubles, man. When this Facebook Live go off, when your Facebook Live go off, and you have to start being uh, real... <laughs> When life goes back to being real, we all know when the cameras come on, man. We all know that when the cameras come on, everybody go to acting. Everybody turns into that actor, man. You feel what I'm saying? Uh. Anyway, take this and wrap it off in it for you this morning, man. Truly it is. All right. It's your man, Big Cell, FHO's HNIC. I love y'all. I love y'all. Love, loyalty, and respect. Put something on it today, man. Put something on it. All right? I love y'all. For real, I do. Peace.